there, Potato and Nell here. Just popping by from the year 2050. And let me tell ya, the future is amazingly healthy with potatoes this big! Oh, yum! <laughs> but you know, with Earth Month coming up, some of you might be wondering how it first started. Lucky for us, Furtada and Rocket Pants are just as excited as I am to talk about it. Oh, yeah! Thanks, Potato. We love green tech, so obviously we're huge fans of Earth Month. But did you know where it came from? To begin, we have to go back, way back. Oh no! Too far back, RP, too far back. We <laughs> 1962, when Rachel Carson first published her book, Silent Spring. Right, that's the book that talked about the harm that pollution and pesticides were doing to our world. It became an environmental movement. And really got people thinking about taking care of the planet. Then, in 1969, an oil spill happened off the coast of California, releasing millions of gallons of oil into the ocean. <gasps> Inspired by Silent Spring, activists and government leaders joined together to create a new initiative to help protect the environment. And on April 22nd, 1970, the first Earth Day was born. Now that's something to celebrate. Woot, woot. Of course, as awesome as Earth Day is, there's so much to talk about when it comes to helping the planet, which is why we now have a whole month to bring awareness for the environment. Affirmative. Awareness here. Awareness here. Awareness here too. And there you have it, Potato, the history of Earth Month. All this started with that little Earth Day movement. But you know what? I think Every day can be Earth Day with the right choices. <gasps> Maybe instead of an Earth Month, we can have an Earth Year or an Earth Decade. Maybe an Earth Century! Oh, I have a new movement to start. Come on, Mel! 